Hello, we're going to be taking a look at some of the anatomy uh, that's around the heart. So some um, anatomy of the heart and then some of the blood vessels that are nearby. And this is a heart that has had the pericardium removed. You can see that there are liver lobes, I'm sorry, lung lobes that are nearby here. And we're taking a look at the heart. I think one of the, you know, let's, let's zoom in a little bit. Um, you can see these flappy structures. Now we see, we saw these in the pig heart and those are oracles. So those oracles are part of the atria and we're dealing with the cats left and right, of course, just like a patient. Uh, so this is the left oracle. That's the right oracle. And you can see this structure, it kind of narrows, um, it kind of narrows coming up the top of the heart. And this is the pulmonary trunk. And the pulmonary trunk kind of narrows and narrows and narrows. And then you can see that there's this structure here. And that's a pulmonary artery. It's heading right into the lung there. Let me zoom in some more. So uh, the pulmonary trunk, which uh, narrows into a pulmonary artery, you can't see the uh, the split to the the pulmonary arteries right and left. Um, one branches under the heart, and the other comes here to the left lung, and so you you don't see some sort of satisfying Y of a of a, uh, of, a of a split. Uh, so you just see it kind of narrow, and then it's heading in here into the lung. This is a nerve that's going by. Um, you can see where it's headed. It's uh, headed down to the diaphragm. It's an important nerve for breathing. It's the phrenic nerve, but you don't have to worry about that. But I thought since it's there, you might want to know what it is. Maybe I'll just push it out of the way for now. Um, zoom in again, and um, you can see that that pulmonary artery. Now, nearby, you can see a pulmonary vein right next to it. And it's not stained. Neither of these are stained. I mean, this is pretty thick wall to even show stain underneath it. And here, the, the latex doesn't get around to this portion. Um, uh, so it doesn't look very vessely. It looks kind of flat, but you can see this structure that's coming here from the lung and heading here towards the oracle. So if it's connected to an oracle, you know it must be a vein. That's where blood is entering into the heart. And so you end up with this, the pulmonary vein coming from the lung. Uh, if you're looking on the other side of the heart, here you can see this left oracle you can see the vena cava there. Um, also on this heart, you can see the aorta, the aortic arch kind of arching around here. It's not very pink, it's pretty white right there. Uh, again, it's thick walled, it doesn't often show the latex through it, but you can see this, let me push this to the side, this larger artery, more central, the brachiocephalic, and then this one headed off to the left limb of the cat. That's subclavian. We've seen that before. And another thing I should show you, push the cat down and, and tilt it. Um, you can see, so uh, coming off of the heart, there are these blood vessels and um, they are uh, headed to the sternum. So um, when, we, when we dissected the cat, 
we dissected a little bit to the right of the sternum on this cat. So this is where the sternum is. And you can see um, some of this thickness of bone that's, that's right there. Now I've pinned this open, but you can see this pink blood vessel that's going to the sternum. And you can see this blue blood vessel that's going to the sternum. They're both mammary vessels. So the um, mammary artery, internal mammary artery, internal mammary vein. Zoom in. And you can see then that this mammary vein is coming off of the vena cava there. So there they are. Uh, heading up to the sternum. That you can see that it's heading to the, the underside of the sternum. Okay, and we're here in the chest again. We're gonna lift this up. You can see the heart and the lungs. And what we're going to do is um, I'm going to dissect and um, show you the azygous. So you'll kind of see what it looks like before it's dissected and um, see them once it's dissected. Okay, so notice that I'm, I'm pushing the left, I'm sorry, the right lung of this cat uh, over to the side. Maybe I'll pin that. And you can see, you can see this blue. I'm gonna zoom in. All right, so you see this blue curving around? You can kind of look at it a little bit better by dissecting into it. You can also see something, I think, nearby. But let, let's concentrate on this blue guy. So this is the azygous vein, and you'll notice that there's little blue branches. You see one here and see one here. And those are intercostal veins. Intercostal. And we've had that word before because we had the intercostal muscles, internal and external. These veins drain the intercostals. And you can even see the intercostals of this cat. You can see these, um, the ribs, and you can see the muscles in between. You can see them, you know, from this other viewpoint. Now you can see uh, there's pink along in here too. Those are intercostal arteries. So this is a little bit different in that there's several muscles, or sorry, several vessels that all get the same name, intercostal. So intercostal veins, all of these, there's an intercostal artery. We're going to do the same thing on the other side to see the aorta, um, but this is how you can see the azygous. So again, this large vessel is the azygous, that's the one that these veins are draining into. And then you can see that it's coming up quite close to the heart. And so it comes in here and you can see that it would be draining into the heart uh, nearby. Okay, I've got the, the cat switched around here. Uh, here's where its, its neck and head is. And here's the heart again. You can see the lungs. And what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, the same sort of thing that we did in that previous clip, which is going to take the lungs and look behind them. 
now we're looking on the left side and let's see what we find um, so you should be able to see this it's a very distinctive pink vessel that's running down here and it's coming off of the aortic arch here this is the aortic arch um, here's some vessels that you might remember there's the brachycephalic and the left subclavian and then the aortic arch is arching underneath the heart and underneath the lungs as you can see and then it's coming here and there is um, all these little you see all these little pink vessels and those are intercostals so we have intercostal arteries that are branching off of the aorta here This is kind of in the way, isn't it? I'll just hold it open there. Uh, there's that aorta, and there's those, those little repeating intercostals. 